we got a special surprise for you. Today we're gonna to be talking about documentary filmmaking for beginners. Maybe you just bought a camera or you're just getting into filmmaking, or maybe you got a great idea for a documentary but you have no idea where to start and you're f***ing lost. All good. Today we're gonna to be breaking down the basics of documentary filmmaking. Let's get it. What's up guys, my name is Alex Zarfati and welcome to the channel. Get ready because we're about to break down this bad boy. So when you're just starting out as a filmmaker, it's so easy to get overwhelmed with all this knowledge that you're trying to consume and even more so when you're thinking about making your first documentary. There's a lot that goes into producing a documentary and especially for someone who's doing it for the first time. And the best thing to do is take it step by step because if you think about it as a whole, it can very easily get overwhelming and then you end up not doing it or you never pursue it or whatever it is. Each one of these topics that we're gonna go over today really deserves to be broken down in much greater detail. And that's something that I'm gonna be working on coming out in the near future is breaking down everything that we're gonna talk about today. But this video is about the basics and giving you an overall idea on how to organize your thoughts, how to break down the process in making a documentary. In my mind, the way I see it is I like to break everything down into four phases. Phase one is the idea phase. This is kind of like the ground level where you birth the idea of your documentary. This is where that light bulb goes off and you're like, wow, this is a great idea. I think I want to pursue something like this. That's great. Best thing to do is right away, start writing down your, your idea, your concept. Write a few paragraphs of everything that you're thinking about and try to formulate a beginning, a middle, and an end. And, and kind of try to find in that, in that few paragraphs that you're writing, who your audience is, who are you speaking to? You know, what are you trying to say? What I normally do is I talk to a few people that I trust about the concept, about the idea. You can start to easily tell where the story can go and if it excites people, if it excites you, can you talk about it? Can you have a conversation about it? Can you kind of get somebody else excited about the story or the concept that you're trying to create? The final thing that I like to do is sum everything up, sum up your conversation, sum up your paragraphs, everything that you've written, everything that you thought about into about two to four sentences of something very solid. You could read to somebody and they understand what story that you're trying to tell. But phase two, three, and four are the basics of any production. And that is pre-production, production, and post-production. Pre-production for a documentary is a bit different, mainly because there's no script. Documentaries are constantly evolving and a lot of the time you might be finding pieces to the story as you go. The number one thing that I like to do first is research your topic and all your characters. It's extremely important to meet with your characters or get to know them before you interview them. Do kind of like a pre-interview to find out all the aspects of the story that you can to create a story map for your film. The idea of a story map is to take important aspects of your story, like events, discoveries, dates, and figure out how these pieces will evolve and connect with each other in your documentary. Once you have that solid direction of your story, I then like to create a mood board. A mood board is where you find the voice and the style of the film that you're trying to create. You draw inspiration for cinematography and music and all the inspiration that you have for the film, you put it in one place so you can stylistically have some sort of roadmap to tell you what kind of artistic direction that you want to take this film into. So phase three is production. And there are way too many aspects of production to break down in this video. This is just to give you a general idea of the steps to take in order to create a documentary. Generally, production is where you execute all the work that you put in on your pre-production phase. One thing that I'm gonna recommend to any filmmaker that is just starting out is, before I even go into production, I would run camera tests, I would do a pre-light, I would throw that footage into Premiere, color it, and see how it looks. Once you're in production, time is money. Whether you're hiring a crew or you're, you have you know talent there, and they only have a small amount of time to be there, know how to execute what it is that you're trying to do before you go into production. Phase four is where the magic happens. This is the stage of post-production, where everything funnels in, where you bring the story together with editing, coloring, graphics, music, you put everything together, but really just like anything, process and organization really is key to making this aspect of production smooth. The first step is ingesting and organizing all the footage. I organize the footage in, in folders and all the folders have the same format. You'll have date, event, and people that you're filming. So the next step in the process is usually me cutting up interviews and starting to put the basics of the story together. 
a lot of the time interviews are the foundation of a documentary. So once I have all of that cut, I can start to see where the story is going and I can start to have a foundation to build off of. You can start putting things like B-roll and music and adding all the elements to the story to really make it whole so you could actually watch it from start to finish, really have a good understanding of what the final product will look like. The last steps in post-production are things like coloring, graphics, sound design, and audio mixing. And there's a very specific reason why you do it in that order. Let's say you're working on the edit and you're not quite finished, but you give it to a colorist and he starts working on something. And then you start changing something and you're starting to change a section that that colorist is specifically working on. You just completely wasted their time. So before you move on to this step, the last steps in post-production, you wanna make sure that you picture lock the edit. You wanna make sure that you have a very solid edit that you're comfortable with, that you're happy with, that you've watched a million times and you say to yourself, there is nothing in here that I wanna change. I am ready, I put my stamp of approval. Bam. I am ready to move on to the next phase and that is coloring, graphics, and sound design. That is it, that is the basics of documentary filmmaking. I hope you guys learned something today. Like I said, I'm gonna be breaking down every aspect of this process in great detail. This video was just to get the ball rolling, how to get your documentary going, how to start thinking about things. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and support your boy. I'll see you guys on the next one.